Midway Atoll colloquial, Midway Islands, Hawaiian, Pahamanu Kauihalani is a 2.4 square mile square kilometers atoll in the North Pacific Ocean at 28 degrees 12 and 177 degrees 21 w. Midway is roughly equidistant between North America and Asia. Midway Atoll is an unorganized, unincorporated territory of the United States. Midway continues to be the only island in the Hawaiian archipelago that is not part of the state of Hawaii. Unlike the other Hawaiian islands, Midway observes Samoa time UTC i.e., 11 hours behind Coordinated Universal Time, which is one hour behind the time in the state of Hawaii. For statistical purposes, Midway is grouped as one of the United States minor outlying islands. The Midway Atoll National Wildlife Refuge, encompassing 590,991.50 acres hectares of land and water in the surrounding area, is administered by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service The refuge and most of its surrounding area are part of the larger Papahanuamokuakea Marine National Monument. Until 1993, the atoll was the home of the naval air facility Midway Island. The Battle of Midway, which was fought between June 4 and 6, 1942, was one of the most important battles of the Pacific Campaign of World War II. The United States Navy defeated a Japanese battle group marking a turning point in the war in the Pacific theater. USAAF aircraft based at the original Henderson Field on Eastern Island joined the attack against the Japanese fleet, which suffered losses of four carriers and one heavy cruiser. Approximately 40 to 60 people live on the atoll, which includes staff of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and contract workers. Visitation to the atoll is possible only for business reasons which includes permanent and temporary staff, contractors and volunteers as the tourism program has been suspended due to budget cutbacks. In 2012, the last year that the visitor program was in operation, 332 people made the trip to Midway. Tours focused on both the unique ecology of Midway as well as its military history. The economy is derived solely from governmental sources and tourist fees. Nearly all supplies must be brought to the island by ship or plane, though a hydroponic greenhouse and garden supply some fresh fruits and vegetables. Topic. Location As its name suggests, Midway is roughly equidistant between North America and Asia, and lies almost halfway around the world longitudinally from Greenwich, UK. It is near the northwestern end of the Hawaiian archipelago, about one-third of the way from Honolulu, Hawaii, to Tokyo, Japan. Midway Atoll is less than 140 nautical miles 259 kilometers, 161 miles east of the international date line, about 2,800 nautical miles 5, kilometers, 3, miles west of San Francisco, and 2,200 nautical miles 4, kilometers, 2, miles east of Tokyo. Topic. Geography and geology Midway Atoll is part of a chain of volcanic islands, atolls, and seamounts extending from Hawaii up to the tip of the Aleutian Islands and known as the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount Chain. It consists of a ring-shaped barrier reef nearly five miles in diameter and several sand islets. The two significant pieces of land, Sand Island and Eastern Island, provide a habitat for millions of seabirds. The island sizes are shown in the table above. The atoll, which has a small population approximately 60 in 2014, but no indigenous inhabitants, is designated an insular area under the authority of the United States Department of the Interior. Midway was formed roughly 28 million years ago when the seabed underneath it was over the same hotspot from which the island of Hawaii is now being formed. In fact, Midway was once a shield volcano, perhaps as large as the island of Lanai. As the volcano piled up lava flows building the island, its weight depressed the crust and the island slowly subsided over a period of millions of years, a process known as isostatic adjustment. As the island subsided, a coral reef around the former volcanic island was able to maintain itself near sea level by growing upwards. 
That reef is now over 516 feet 157 meters thick in the lagoon, 1,261 feet 384 meters, comprised mostly post-Miocene limestones with a layer of upper Miocene tertiary G sediments and lower Miocene tertiary e limestones at the bottom overlying the basalts. What remains today is a shallow water atoll about 6 miles kilometers across. Following Kerr Atoll, Midway is the second most northerly atoll in the world. Topic. Infrastructure The atoll has some 20 miles 32 kilometers of roads, 4.8 miles 7 .7 kilometers of pipelines, one port on Sand Island World Port Index NR, 56,328, Midway Island, and an airfield. As of 2004, Henderson Field Airfield at Midway Atoll, with its one active runway RWY 06, around 8,000 feet 2, meters long has been designated as an emergency diversion airport for aircraft flying under ETOPS rules. Although the FWS closed all airport operations on November 22, 2004, public access to the island was restored from March 2008. Eastern Island Airstrip is a disused airfield which was in use by U.S. forces during the Battle of Midway. It is mostly constructed of Marston Mat and was built by the United States Navy Seabees. Topic: <laughs> Climate. Despite being located at 28 degrees 12 in which is north of the Tropic of Cancer, Midway Atoll has a tropical savanna climate with very pleasant year-round temperatures. Rainfall is evenly distributed throughout the year, with only two months being able to be classified as dry season months May and June. History Midway has no indigenous inhabitants and was uninhabited until the 19th century. 19th century The atoll was sighted on July 5, 1859, by Captain N.C. Middlebrooks, commonly known as Captain Brooks, of the sealing ship Gambia. The islands were named the Middlebrook Islands or the Brook Islands. Brooks claimed Midway for the United States under the Guano Islands Act of 1856, which authorized Americans to occupy uninhabited islands temporarily to obtain guano. There is no record of any attempt to mine guano on the island. On August 28, 1867, Captain William Reynolds of the USS Lackawanna formally took possession of the atoll for the United States. The name changed to Midway some time after this. The atoll was the first Pacific island annexed by the United States, as the unincorporated territory of Midway Island, and was administered by the United States Navy. The first attempt at settlement was in 1871, when the Pacific Mail Steamship Company started a project of blasting and dredging a ship channel through the reef to the lagoon using money put up by the United States Congress. The purpose was to establish a mid-ocean coaling station to avoid the high taxes imposed at ports controlled by the Hawaiians. The project was shortly a complete failure, and the USS Saginaw evacuated the last of the Channel Project's workforce in October 1871. The ship ran aground at Kerr Atoll, stranding everyone. All were rescued, with the exception of four of the five persons who sailed to Kauai in an open boat to seek help. <laughs> Early 20th century In 1903, workers for the Commercial Pacific Cable Company took up residence on the island as part of the effort to lay a Trans-Pacific Telegraph Cable. These workers introduced many non-native species to the island, including the canary, cycad, Norfolk Island pine, she-oak, coconut, and various deciduous trees, along with ants, cockroaches, termites, centipedes, and countless others. On January 20, 1903, the United States Navy opened a radio station in response to complaints from cable company workers about Japanese squatters and poachers. Between 1904 and 1908, President Roosevelt stationed 21 Marines on the island to end wanton destruction of bird life and keep Midway safe as a U.S. possession, protecting the cable station. In 1935, operations began for the Martin M-130 flying boats operated by Pan American Airlines. 
The M-130s island hopped from San Francisco to China, providing the fastest and most luxurious route to the Far East and bringing tourists to Midway until 1941. Only the very wealthy could afford the trip, which in the 1930s cost more than three times the annual salary of an average American. With Midway on the route between Honolulu and Wake Island, the flying boats landed in the atoll and pulled up to a float offshore in the lagoon. Tourists transferred to a small powerboat that ferried them to a pier, then rode in Woody wagons to the Pan Am Hotel or the Gooneyville Lodge, named after the ubiquitous Gooney birds, albatrosses. Topic: <laughs> World War II. The location of Midway in the Pacific became important militarily. Midway was a convenient refueling stop on Trans-Pacific flights, and was also an important stop for Navy ships. Beginning in 1940, as tensions with the Japanese rose, Midway was deemed second only to Pearl Harbor in importance to the protection of the U.S. West Coast. Airstrips, gun emplacements and a seaplane base quickly materialized on the tiny atoll, the channel was widened, and Naval Air Station Midway was completed. Midway was also an important submarine base. On February 14, 1941, President Franklin Roosevelt issued Executive Order 8682 to create naval defense areas in the Central Pacific Territories. The proclamation established Midway Island Naval Defensive Sea Area, which encompassed the territorial waters between the extreme high water marks and the three mile marine boundaries surrounding Midway. Midway Island Naval Airspace Reservation was also established to restrict access to the airspace over the Naval Defense Sea Area. Only U.S. government ships and aircraft were permitted to enter the Naval Defense Areas at Midway Atoll unless authorized by the Secretary of the Navy. Midway's importance to the U.S. was brought into focus on December 7, 1941 when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Midway was attacked by two destroyers on the same day, and the Japanese force was successfully repulsed in the first American victory of the war. A Japanese submarine bombarded Midway on February 10, 1942. Four months later, on June 4, 1942, a major naval battle near Midway resulted in the U.S. Navy inflicting a devastating defeat on the Japanese Navy. Four Japanese fleet aircraft carriers, the Akaji, Kaga, Hiraiyu, and Soryu, were sunk, along with the loss of hundreds of Japanese aircraft, losses that the Japanese would never be able to replace. The U.S. lost the aircraft carrier Yorktown, along with a number of its carrier and land-based aircraft that were either shot down by Japanese forces or bombed on the ground at the airfields. The Battle of Midway was, by most accounts, the beginning of the end of the Japanese Navy's control of the Pacific Ocean. Starting in July 1942, one of the Fulton-class submarine tenders was always stationed at the atoll to support submarines patrolling Japanese waters. In 1944, a floating dry dock joined the tender. After the Battle of Midway, a second airfield was developed, this one on Sand Island. This work necessitated enlarging the size of the island through landfill techniques, that when concluded, more than doubled the size of the island. <laughs> <laughs> Korean and Vietnam Wars From August 1, 1941 to 1945, it was occupied by U.S. military forces. In 1950, the Navy decommissioned Naval Air Station Midway, only to recommission it again to support the Korean War. Thousands of troops on ships and aircraft stopped at Midway for refueling and emergency repairs. From 1968 to September 10, 1993, Midway Island was a naval air facility. During the Cold War, the U.S. established an underwater listening post at Midway to track Soviet submarines. The facility remained secret until its demolition at the end of the Cold War. U.S. Navy WV-2 EC-121K Willie Victor radar aircraft flew night and day as an extension of the distant early warning line, and antenna fields covered the islands. With about 3,500 people living on Sand Island, Midway also supported the U.S. troops during the Vietnam War. In June 1969, President Richard Nixon held a secret meeting with South Vietnamese President Nguyen Van Thu at the Officer in Charge House or Midway House. Civilian handover 
In 1978, the Navy downgraded Midway from a naval air station to a naval air facility and large numbers of personnel and dependents began leaving the island. With the war in Vietnam over, and with the introduction of reconnaissance satellites and nuclear submarines, Midway's significance to U.S. national security was diminished. The World War II facilities at Sand and Eastern Islands were listed on the National Register of Historic Places on May 28, 1987 and were simultaneously added as a National Historic Landmark. As part of the base realignment and closure process, the Navy facility on Midway has been operationally closed since September 10, 1993, although the Navy assumed responsibility for cleaning up environmental contamination at Naval Air Facility Midway. 2011 tsunami The 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami on March 11 caused many deaths among the bird population on Midway. It was reported that a 1.5 meters 5 feet high wave completely submerged the Atoll's reef inlets and Spit Island, killing more than 110,000 nesting seabirds at the National Wildlife Refuge. However, scientists on the island do not think it will have long-term negative impacts on the bird populations. A US geological survey study found that the Midway Atoll, Laysan, and Pacific Islands like them could become inundated and unfit to live on during the 21st century. National Wildlife Refuge Midway was designated an Overlay National Wildlife Refuge on April 22, 1988 while still under the primary jurisdiction of the Navy. From August 1996, the general public could visit the atoll through study ecotours. This program ended in 2002, but another visitor program was approved and began operating in March 2008. This program operated through 2012, but was suspended for 2013 due to budget cuts. On October 31, 1996, President Bill Clinton signed Executive Order 13022, which transferred the jurisdiction and control of the atoll to the United States Department of the Interior. The FWS assumed management of the Midway Atoll National Wildlife Refuge. The last contingent of Navy personnel left Midway on June 30, 1997 after an ambitious environmental cleanup program was completed. On September 13, 2000, Secretary of the Interior Bruce Babbitt designated the Wildlife Refuge as the Battle of Midway National Memorial. The refuge is now titled as the Midway Atoll National Wildlife Refuge and Battle of Midway National Memorial. On June 15, 2006, President George W. Bush designated the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands as a national monument. The Northwestern Hawaiian Islands Marine National Monument encompasses 105,564 square nautical miles, 139,798 square miles, 362,074 square kilometers, and includes 3,910 square nautical miles, 5,178 square miles, 13,411 square kilometers of coral reef habitat. The monument also includes the Hawaiian Islands National Wildlife Refuge, and the Midway Atoll National Wildlife Refuge. In 2007, the monument's name was changed to Papahanuamokuakea Hawaiian pronunciation, Pipihanu Mokuaki Marine National Monument. The National Monument is managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, and the State of Hawaii. In 2016 President Obama expanded the Papahanuamokuakea Marine National Monument, and added the Office of Hawaiian Affairs as a fourth co-trustee of the monument. Topic environment Midway Atoll is a critical habitat in the Central Pacific Ocean which includes breeding habitat for 17 seabird species. A number of native species rely on the island, which is now home to 67 to 70 percent of the world's lace and albatross population, and 34 to 39 percent of the global population of black-footed albatross. A very small number of the very rare short-tailed albatross also have been observed. Fewer than 2,200 individuals of this species are believed to exist due to excessive feather hunting in the late 19th century. In 2007-8, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service translocated 42 endangered laysan ducks to the atoll as part of their efforts to conserve the species. Over 250 different species of marine life are found in the 300,000 acres hectares of lagoon and surrounding waters. 
The critically endangered Hawaiian monk seals raise their pups on the beaches, relying on the atoll's reef fish, squid, octopus and crustaceans. Green sea turtles, another threatened species, occasionally nest on the island. The first was found in 2006 on Spit Island and another in 2007 on Sand Island. A resident pod of 300 spinner dolphins live in the lagoons and nearshore waters. The islands of Midway Atoll have been extensively altered as a result of human habitation. Starting in 1869 with the project to blast the reefs and create a port on Sand Island, the environment of Midway Atoll has experienced profound changes. A number of invasive exotics have been introduced, for example, ironwood trees from Australia were planted to act as windbreaks. 75% of the 200 species of plants on Midway are non-native. Recent efforts have focused on removing non-native plant species and replanting native species. Lead paint on the buildings still poses an environmental hazard avian lead poisoning to the albatross population of the island. The cost of stripping the paint is estimated to be $5 million. Paint removal is expected to be finished by 2017. Topic pollution Midway Atoll, in common with all the Hawaiian islands, receives substantial amounts of marine debris from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Consisting of 90% plastic, this debris accumulates on the beaches of Midway. This garbage represents a hazard to the bird population of the island. 20 tons of plastic debris washes up on Midway every year, with 5 tons of that debris being fed to albatross chicks. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service estimates at least 100 pounds 45 kilograms of plastic washes up every week. Of the 1.5 million Laysan albatrosses that inhabit Midway, nearly all are found to have plastic in their digestive system. Approximately one-third of the chicks die. These deaths are attributed to the albatrosses confusing brightly colored plastic with marine animals such as squid and fish for food. Recent results suggest that oceanic plastic develops a chemical signature that is normally used by seabirds to locate food items. Because albatross chicks do not develop the reflex to regurgitate until they are four months old, they cannot expel the plastic pieces. Albatrosses are not the only species to suffer from the plastic pollution, sea turtles and monk seals also consume the debris. All kinds of plastic items wash upon the shores, from cigarette lighters to toothbrushes and toys. An albatross on Midway can have up to 50% of its intestinal tract filled with plastic. Topic transportation The usual method of reaching Sand Island, Midway Atoll's only populated island, is on chartered aircraft landing at Sand Island's Henderson Field, which also functions as an emergency diversion point runway for Transpacific flights. Topic popular culture The Wrecker is an 1892 novel by Robert Louis Stevenson partly set on Midway being called Middle Brooks and Lower Brooks Island Topic References Topic Further reading Topic Natural history Hubert, Mabel, Carl Frings, and H. Franklin, Sounds of Midway, Calls of Albatrosses of Midway. Mearns, Edgar Alexander, A List of the Birds Collected by Dr. Paul Barch in the Philippine Islands, Borneo, Guam, and Midway Island, with descriptions of three new forms. Fisher, Mildred L. 1970. The Albatross of Midway Island, A Natural History of the Laysan Albatross. Southern Illinois University Press. ISBN 978-0-8093-0426-4. Rosin, Mark J. 2001. Isles of Refuge, Wildlife and History of the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands. University of Hawaii Press. ISBN 0-8248-2209-9. Topic military history Fuchida, Mitsua, Okumiya, Masataki, Kawakami, Clark H., Pino, Roger Midway, The Battle That Doomed Japan. Naval Institute Press. Morrison, Samuel Elliott Coral Sea, Midway, and Submarine Actions, May, 1942-August, 1942. Boston, Little, Brown and Company. Frank, Pat, Harrington, Joseph D., Fletcher, Frank, Tanab, Yahachi Rendezvous at Midway, USS Yorktown and the Japanese Carrier Fleet. New York, John Day Co. Partial, Jonathan, Tully, Anthony Shattered Sword, The Untold Story of the Battle of Midway. Herndon, V.A., Potomac Books. ISBN 978-1-57488-923-9. Prange, Gordon W., Goldstein, Donald M., Dillon, Catherine V. 1982. Miracle at Midway. New York, MJF Books. 
ISBN 1-56731-895-9, Smith, Myron J. 1991. The Battles of Coral Sea and Midway, 1942, a selected bibliography annotated edition. ABC Clio. ISBN 978-0-313-28120-4. Toland, John But Not in Shame, The Six Months After Pearl Harbor. Ballantine Books. ISBN 0-345-25748-0. Thaddeus Thaddeus Climax at Midway. Jove. ISBN 0-515-07403-9. Wildenberg, Thomas Destined for Glory, Dive Bombing, Midway, and the Evolution of Carrier Airpower. Naval Institute Press. ISBN 1-55750-947-6. Topic external links Satellite map and NOAA chart of Midway on Blue Sea AirNav, Henderson Field Airport, Airport Facilities and Navigational Aids. Diary from the Middle of Nowhere BBC's Environment Correspondent David Shuckman reports on the threat of plastic rubbish drifting in the North Pacific gyre to Midway. Accessed 26 March 2008. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Midway Atoll National Wildlife Refuge and Battle of Midway National Memorial This article incorporated some content from this public domain site NOAA Midway Island Hawaiian Monk Seal Captive Care and Release Project The Battle of Midway, Turning the Tide in the Pacific, a National Park Service Teaching with Historic Places TWHP Lesson Plan Marines at Midway, by Lt. Col. R.D. Heinel Jr., USMC Historical Section, Division of Public Information Headquarters, U.S. Marine Corps 1948 Aviation, from sand dunes to sonic booms, a National Park Service Discover Our Shared Heritage Travel Itinerary Past Residents of Midway Discussion of Midway-related topics by former residents and those interested in Midway. U.S. Unincorporated Possessions. Accessed 26 March 2008. Midway Atoll Today 2010 Google Street View June 2012